Hello everyone, welcome you all. In this session, I am going to discuss about extend report with a screenshot appending. So far, we have seen introduction towards the extend report and implementation of extend report into our test ng project. In this session, we will see how can we capture screenshot whenever any test case failure or whenever user required to capture any screen, we will take those screenshot and we will append those screenshot into our extend report. So do watch this entire session. So this is the very important aspect of automation reporting. And this is asked in n number of times in interview questions as well. So let's get started. So this is our earlier project, which is a Maven project. Under that, I have automation code, which is searching into the Google and going into the Gmail there it will capture all the logs and in this i have added some modification so in case if you are new to this session do was the earlier session so that you will be in sync with this session and it is easier for you to understand and here in our one of the skip test i have added some uh, skip exception so that it will be announced as the skip in your report in the test engine report and i have added one login test where I have given try catch blocks in that blocks I have taken test.log which is a fail whenever it capture any failure in try then it will go to the catch block and in catch block it, this log will be executed and now I need to capture screenshot for this so how we can do that so generally we will be using utility function uh, but for now for demonstration I am using in the same location where I will create a one function using that function we will take the screenshot later we will append that to our logging structure so for that what we need to do is we need to create a function which is a public if a string the reason why I am taking public static string because uh, we need to capture the location of that taken screenshot. So that will be a path, right? Which will be a string type. So that's the reason I'm taking a string and let's say capture screen. Capture screen is my function name and here I will pass a web driver. Web driver driver because using that web driver only we are capturing a screenshots right now in the next line we need to call the file 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 from java io and let's say this is a source file source file and which is equal to we need to do a typecasting of our web driver instance where we will be under web driver right we need to typecast to our take a screenshot for that take screenshot and we need to pass driver here right after doing this we need to do a dot get screenshot as and in the screenshot as so it is getting the screenshot as using a take a screenshot and that is of type output type so output type so it's output type dot file right so this line will capture the screenshot and it will be captured as a form of file and then after we need to provide a destination location for our file so for that that is also one type of file again so let me take again java io and let's say this is a destination file destination file and in a destination file what we need to do we need to create a new file right this is a accept a string parameter so this string parameter can be so in my entire project structure if you see on my left side this is a maven project and from there i need to go to a location where uh, wherever i create any file or a folder so for now I have created a folder called image. So this is an empty folder. So I need to driver still there. To driver still there, we need to use src 
double dots and this is the folder name images so this is a file location that we need to pass then after we need to provide a naming convention so on a runtime we cannot provide multiple number of uh, names right so what we can do we can capture our desktop time and we can append that to that screenshot name so for that we need to call system system dot current time in millis so this will get the current time and it will append so we need to capture the screenshot as a extension of png right and this is a file destination so we have given a target location and we have taken a screenshot now next what we need to do we need to create a string where we can capture the absolute path of this entire destination file why we need to take a uh, absolute path because in extent api so if you are not providing the absolute path it will be displaying as broken image so this is also one of the interview question so make sure you note this point so let's say string absolute path underscore screen equal to so what we need to which one we need to take absolute path which is a destination so destination file dot get absolute path so this will get my absolute path then after we need to provide a file util file util dot copy copy file from source location to destination location so you need to select this method so what is the source file which is a src file what is the destination so destination will be our destination file right and end with semicolon right and this will throw some exceptions so we need to call io exceptions so we'll implement that as io exception right now once it done so as it's a static one a uh, public static string we need to provide a return type so what we going to be returning so we need to return the absolute path so that that absolute path will be given to our extent report so this is absolute path we need to provide to our extent report so this is we have captured all these things in our function so we need to call this function into our test cases so for now we have one failure cases which is designed here so i will put this here so it is a normal extent uh, normal extent report logging only so this is a test extent so let me explain you once again the structure of extent report in this session also so we have two classes which is a extent report and extent test and using this extent report we are calling or we are creating a file path which is a report.html and this is a location for that file and we are passing some boolean values which is a true or false so for now we will set it to false only and using this extent test we are calling report which is a extent report and we are starting a test so we are providing some strings here and these are all the normal test case executions only and in after test we need to stop our execution or stop our logging functionality by using a report dot end test so what we need to end we need to end the extended test which is referring to test here so this is we need to end and then after after ending that test we need to flush all our information to our extent report which is report dot flush then after in each test cases we are providing a logs which is a extend logs so using test dot log log status which is of type of log which is a info log and in case of pass we need to provide pass in case of warning we need to provide warning and likewise skip and failed so these are the logging that we are doing and now we are trying to append the failure uh, scenario 
screenshot to our extent report to do that we need to again go to our fail test cases place where we need to again call test dot we need to type a screenshot then in the screenshot you can see add a screenshot capture so you need to select this type so this is method available in a extent report only so which is not available in your test engine this is available in your extent report and you need to use a reference of extent rate extended test right and in this we need to provide a method or a function that we have created right so we need to call this function here and under that we need to provide a driver reference right and then after we need to append the the string which is we are going to say that login test failed so let me quickly save this and let me quickly run this program right our test case got executed let me see the test ng report yeah we are getting a test ng report now and let me refresh my project first so after i refresh uh, it need to be a report which is an extent report which is a report.html so right click and open open this system editor now it has captured so these are all the earlier executions that we have uh, seen in last session and this is the latest session that we are in here so here you can see all these things which are there in our logging so all those loggings got captured here and you can see here there is an one test case which is failed and it has captured the screenshot as well so once you click this it, you can see the screenshot and if you go here and and I think here you can see in this structure way also like you can see the reporting here so how many executions how many test case pass fail and if you wanted to see only this then you can set to true which is our extent report boolean value to true so let me do that again so let me give it true so that the previously executed results will be erased and new results will be placed in that location so let me again re-execute this and it's not necessary that you need to provide this screenshot to failure test cases you can put it this you can put this test case failure i mean take a screenshot into any of the pass failed skip test cases so it's on user based so it's not necessary we need to keep our screenshot in the failure case only so on success also you can take the screenshot so just calling by calling this method so you can call this method anywhere into your project so let me again copy this and even for pass also i can put a screenshot so let's append this so like this you can append and throw exception so even for pass fail cases you can append so let me last one time let me execute So that you will understand the capturing utility in our extent report so in interviews you may get this kind of questions like always you wanted to take a screenshot in failure cases does why not we can take uh, in a pass criteria so you can say uh, it's a user specific requirement you based on user need we can set it to anywhere right let me again refresh our project right done now again open html now oh, it's open in uh, here only let me open in system editor now you can see the previously execution is got erased and new execution report is updated here and you can see it has captured for failure test case and also it has captured screenshot for passing test cases right so this is how we do a capturing in extent report i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe and do comment your feedback in case if you stuck anywhere or you are facing any issue in terms of configuration or dependencies i will likely to help you i hope
you understand all the concept of extent report so do share a like in case if you love this session thank you